Fat is a very important macronutrient, especially if you're on a ketogenic diet. <clears throat> it's going to be the macronutrient that you're eating the most of. So for me, uh, about 80% of my calories come from fat, uh, only 20% come from protein, and zero come from carbohydrates. Uh, so what are the best type of fats for humans to eat? Uh, the best type of fats are those that are real, unprocessed uh, fats that humans have been eating for millions of years. The best kind of fats for, for humans are animal fats. The best kind of animal fats for humans uh, are large ruminant fatty animals like uh, beef, lamb, and bison. Uh, though other animal fats are good as well. So anything from lard, bacon grease, uh, chicken fat, duck fat, uh, basically the fat of any anim type of animal is going to be good. Uh, if you're not sensitive to dairy, <clears throat> butter and ghee are also uh, good sources of fat. Um, and if you eat plants, um, there are a few unprocessed uh, plant oils that are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty decent for you, and those would be olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. Again, they don't go in, uh, under any real um, processing or refining. Um, it's just those are uh, those oils are from fatty fruits. The the fat is pressed and squeezed out, um, and that's how you make the oil. Um, the fats, the types of fats or oils that we want to stay away from are the inflammatory. Um, highly processed, highly inflammatory um, vegetable oils, uh, which are actually seed oils. And those would be things like canola oil, oil, soybean oil, uh, cottonseed oil, corn oil, uh, all those oils that are used to deep fry uh, things in restaurants and fast food restaurants and that are made uh, when making processed foods. These uh, artificial processed oils are very toxic, very inflammatory, and I would not advise anybody to, to, to eat uh, any of these oils. Um, so, so yeah, those are the, the oils or the fats that we want to focus on eating, the animal fats, and then uh, butter and ghee. And for those uh, people who eat um, wheat plants, uh, avocado, uh, olive, and coconut oil are okay as well. Um, and we shouldn't fear fat. We shouldn't be afraid of eating fat. Uh, we want to, to, to be eating large amounts of fat. Uh, and one of the reasons why there's such a, um, a huge health uh, crisis, why so many people are chronically sick today, both mentally and physically, uh, a big component of that is uh, deficiency in fatty acids. So many people are, whether advertently or inadvertently, on low-fat diets, and that really does a number to <clears throat> the functioning of a, a number of our organ systems, including our uh, our brain, uh, nervous system, including our endocrine system, our hormones, including our digestive system, our immune system. All these are impacted by uh, a diet that's deficient in, in these fatty acids, so we shouldn't fear fat. A lot of people are worried about eating too much fat. They think consuming uh, dietary fats Will, um, will lead to, um, to excess body fat, the accumulation of excess body fat, and nothing could be farther than, than the truth, um, uh, farther from the truth in this. Eating fat does not make us fat, um, and anyone who eats a, a high-fat carnivore or ketogenic diet can attest to this, including myself. What makes us fat, again, are eating processed uh, fake foods, uh, especially carbohydrates and sugary foods. Um, carbohydrates, sugar, and other processed ingredients are what um, lead to the accumulation of excess body fat. So if you want to optimize your, your health, physical health, mental health, your strength, your energy levels, your athletic performance, and your body composition, eating a high-fat uh, ketogenic diet that's low in carbohydrate with moderate levels of protein is the best approach to do so.